It's a privilege this year again to welcome uh, the members of our incoming class, the class of 2015, to our On Becoming a Physician ceremony. As well, their families, their friends, our uh, distinguished faculty in attendance and members of the Dean's Office, many alumni who will be participating in the White Coat Ceremony, and as you've also heard, the Chair of our Board of Overseers, Dr. Ruth Gottesman, and the Chair of the Student Affairs Committee of our Board of Overseers, Mr. Nathan Kahn. As I looked at the profile of the class provided by our Admissions Dean, uh, Noreen Kerrigan, uh, the dry statistics are, are easily quotable. 7,634 applicants for the 183 positions in the class. Uh, a diminution in the percentage of women, 44%. Uh, not sure why that is, Noreen, but... 18% <laughs> of the class, uh, immigrants not born in the U.S., uh, like me. And you'll note uh, a strain of narcissism in the ensuing comments as I refer to myself as kind of a benchmark. 27% <laughs> non-science majors like me. I was a comparative literature major at Columbia, but a true pre-med grub, for those who know what that term, which is dated, implies. But uh, I muddled through, and so you non-science majors, I'm sure you'll do OK. I was actually quite surprised to see the proportion of students uh, with at least one parent being a physician. Evidently, 22% of you. It's a high number. And there's a gratifying element to it that your parent or parents haven't dissuaded you from this career uh, <laughs> course, which, which in the era of health care reform, managed care, et cetera, uh, is, is significant. Uh, but I have a word of encouragement uh, for the remaining majority of the class who, who don't enjoy the benefit of having a physician parent. My, my father was a tailor. My mother, uh, what is nowadays euphemistically referred to as a homemaker. And again, uh, I did muddle through. So I have a high degree of confidence that those of you uh, will have equally supportive parents, albeit not uh, physicians. Uh, it's always instructive to look at the dizzying array of volunteer activities uh, that you have participated in. I'm reminded, and this in no way is denigrating the sincerity of your efforts, of that inimitable scene from Legally Blonde on the uh, lawn of the Harvard Law School, uh, where the various uh, students are recounting to Reese Witherspoon their, their activities. But the fact is, uh, you are sincere. I'm sure our interviewers uh, were able to perceive the sincerity there, and, and this is important. In addition to these extraordinary volunteer activities, some unusual jobs uh, before your matriculation here at Einstein. And one, uh, for me, uh, captured my attention. A person who assisted in unwinding the Lehman Brothers bankruptcy. So I don't know if that involved I don't know if that involved carrying Dick Fold's golf clubs or helping him at bridge or... And by the way, it's, it's a nasty reflection on my preoccupations as a dean that I even know who Dick Fold is. So, uh, but it comes with the turf. But to, to close on a, a more serious note, uh, because uh, we, we, while there's a, an appropriate lighthearted and buoyant spirit to this uh, ceremony, there's also an important note of seriousness. And it relates to the white coat as a uniform. I, I uh, reflexively uh, abhor the notion of uniforms and the, the kind of monotonous, uh, imitative, and uh, non-idiosyncratic individual creative uh, behavior that, that wearing a uniform implies. And yet, uh, I believe, and as the architect of having this ceremony at Einstein, I think I can say that, that not only is this justified, but this is the example where the uniform is really a positive, meaningful, and not merely fashion statement. Because despite all the diversity and the uniqueness, each of you as a totally unique individual, bringing your individual, yes, 
3 billion base pairs of genome sequence, but also life experiences in utero and thereafter up to this point. So you're each undoubtedly unique, and that would be true even if we had identical twins, which I don't think we do, right? Uh, the fact of the matter is that you share, and I, I am convinced that you share, the common ideals of professionalism and humanism that really are the quintessence of wearing this particular uniform, this white coat that will be bestowed on you at this ceremony. And so without further ado, Dr. Stephen Baum, our other student affairs dean. Thank you.